I built the rear body mounts for the 4x4 Ranchero. <laughs> Hey YouTube, what are we doing today as I, I lead off with every video? Well, today we're still working on the Ranchero, the 4x4 Ranchero that I still don't have a name that I'm happy with. I've had a few interesting suggestions. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I don't think Busty will do it. I don't think my wife wants to ride in a truck named Busty. Um, I did come up, I thought, uh, you know, Black Betty was the Mazda. This was Rusty. Uh, Rust is an oxide, and I had thought about maybe Black Oxide would be a good name for him, but then I didn't know if anybody wanted to ride in a vehicle whose initials are B.O. So, <sighs> still working on that. Anyway, uh, today uh, we're going to work on... Uh, Let's let the car pass. All right, anyway. Today what I want to do is I want to get uh, one of the cross members in for the, under the bed uh, and then build, if I can, if I have the time, more cars. Anyway, if I have the time, then I want to build some body mounts that come down from it. And let me kind of show you where we're at and what, what I'm, where I'm working. Ah, uh, it's dark in here, but anyway, Wow, is it dark ever. So, this is one of the body mounts that's uh, from, from Betty, from the Mazda. And what I want to do is I want to run a cross member, a nice heavy uh, cross member from here to the other side on the, on, of the rail that will support the bed. And then we will come off of that cross member with a mount that lands on this pad. So... I'm thinking either a two inch or two and a half inch uh, piece of uh, square tubing and we'll, there's a little lip here, we'll notch it out for that so it sets nice and tight and then we'll just weld it in place and uh, ah, what that should do is span the load. It'll help support the bed but it also will bridge the, uh, con you know, transfer the load of the body through that cross member down to this uh, body mount. So. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, oh, and then something else I want to mention. I mentioned this in a previous video that I was going to cut these structures out. These were, these are part of the uh, frame, the original uh, Ranchero frame that mounted the bumper. They're actually resting on the Mazda frame right now. That's actually what's holding the back end up. Uh, I didn't cut them out. Uh, I didn't need to. I, so I just left them. That seems to be where it likes to set, is this high. So, uh, yeah, happy, a, a happy accident. So we're going to leave that, and when I put the mounts in, I may, there may be a, 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 you know, I don't want it touching, I don't want it rubbing right there, but if the, depending on the final deal, I may either notch the, the Mazda's frame to make allowance for this, or I may just raise rusty up a, you know, the, the, the ranchero up maybe a quarter inch or something in the back. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, that's what we're doing, or at least that's what I hope to do. So now you know the plan and what I'm doing, so uh, let's get started.
All right, there it is. That is the new cross member for the, the bed support. And then we got the built-in body mounts that these should line up with the existing body mounts on the, uh, from the, the Mazda. Uh, what we have, what I've used is the two and a half inch square tubing and then for the, this bracket assembly here, this mount assembly, the, it's all quarter inch material. This was a piece of quarter inch in the back here. It's kind of, it's, it's hot and I don't want to touch it. Anyways, this back piece is a quarter by six that I cut into a four inch wide deal. This is a, this was all quarter by three inch flat bar. I cut this one and drilled it. Uh, the hole should be way too big. And then we'll, big, big fat washer and the bolt and stuff. And then these little wings, uh, they're also quarter inch by three. And we just, yeah, that's it's just kind of welded up. So not super fancy, but it should be certainly, uh, should be rugged enough. Um, so anyway, I'm going to see about getting the body up high enough to uh, to set that and weld it in place. I'm using my cell phone for a light down here, but that's kind of what it looks like back here. See the sketchy looking weld up there and yeah, that ought to be rugged enough. Now we're going to see if it fits. Oh, all right, there it is. All right, there's one of them. There's the other one. That's it. <laughs> it was the last five minutes that really wore you out. But uh, no, uh, the bolt holes are a little bit out of alignment and not in a way that I was surprised. I'll either make the bolt holes a little bit bigger or I will uh, shift the body f just a touch forward or whatever it needs. But uh, I, honestly, I'll probably make the holes bigger because I'd rather have the flexibility to move the body where I want it. I mean, it's, you know, there's always a little bit of a adjustment you need to have, but that's it. So tomorrow, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen tomorrow. I, I did get my, my refractory materials and my burners today for the forge. I may work on that. I'd like to get that done because I want to get back to making things with the forge. Uh, but I'd also like to finish the front mounts on this. I'd like to get more done with the mounts on this. Uh, I don't know. It's up in the air. But that's it for this, this video. So if you like it, thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, tell your friends and family. Uh, yeah. Till next time. Bye.